What is up everybody? It's Camp and Randy here for ROA Off-Road, RVsofamerica.com. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough, which you guys haven't seen one for a good while. Shane's done a bunch of videos on the BRS Off-Road Pursuit. We have one here in South Carolina. It is available for sale. It's the demo unit that you see in all the videos. The guys over at BRS have three that they just imported over from Australia that they're building. And when this video's out, it'll be uh, the middle of March, towards the end of March. The two platinums they have and one carbon, the carbon already has been spoken for. So we're gonna have this platinum and two other platinums. They're gonna do a couple of different features. Uh, I'm gonna put all the specs down in the description. I'm gonna put Shane's other videos down in the description as well so that you can see everything on the BRS off-road pursuit. I don't have a cool camera crew like Shane. It's just me with the selfie stick. So let's walk around this guy. He weighs in at 3,500 pounds up to 3,800 pounds depending on how you want it set up. 19 foot long from front to rear, nine foot high. You're gonna have 300 watts of solar on the roof with a 200 amp hour battery in there. It's lithium. Let's walk around it and check it out. So let's start at the front. You are gonna have a Cruise Master DO35, the best, the most awesomest articulating hitch. This actually has a backup camera. So they give you the wiring, you can plug it in right here. Up in the front here, you're gonna have tons of storage with two places for propane bottles. So this is your main feed here and then your spare will be over here on that side. Plenty of room places for jerry cans or whatever you want to pop in there and i love the foam boat material that they put in here big huge skid plates on the front so if you're kicking up rocks and spinning those tires that is protected now i've seen these and i'm actually going to put it in the video unassembled so from here down is all aluminum and then from here up is a one piece fiberglass shell so there's no seams no cracks, nothing can leak. All the windows are double pane, polycarbonate windows. They open up, absolutely amazing. Tons of storage over here, but let's walk around the whole outside, then we will go inside. Galvanized dipped chassis. You are gonna have the Cruise Master air ride suspension right there with an air chuck so that you can fill up your air and whatever else that you have. Now this is an Australian built one. They did convert it over to the US. So you're gonna have tons of plugs everywhere for charging your phones, your outdoor equipment, whatever you need. Tons of storage in this drawer here, storage back there, cutting board here. And then this is an Australian oven. It is a skillet and everything, everyone who sees this freaks out because Everyone's used to the drain hole over here. Drain holes in the center, you can still do eggs, bacon, pancakes and all that, but you can actually set a pan in here and bake in this. It has two burners on it. They're probably gonna change this on the next go around because the, us Americans aren't used to this type of uh, stove. This is actually gonna rotate, push in, and all of this is gonna close up into the storage area underneath have lights here, press these guys. You have an isotherm outdoor fridge and two isotherm indoor fridges or freezers, whatever you wanna make the indoors. So you can have all your cold drinks out here. Down in here is storage for your, your canopy. The canopy goes up and around and feeds into this channel. I'll show you a picture right now. More storage. You also have these two of these on both sides of the camper where you just pop them in for your water and twist. And this has a on-demand water heater on it. So you can adjust your temperature for the outside spigots here and on the other side that we'll look at and use the water out here in the sink. Air ride suspension like I talked about. We are on the Maxxis Razor tires, all terrain, which is awesome. Great step. Outdoor speakers, outdoor lights. You're gonna have some lights up here. This filter is to bring air in and out of the camper because this is gonna have a positive pressurized system from that little scoop right up there that you see 
on the roof. And what that's gonna do is you're driving down the road, it's going to put a positive airflow inside the camper so that in Australia, you have these really fine dust and it will find its way in anywhere. And when I went out to uh, Utah, they have the same thing. As we walk around the back, we have these stairs. The stairs will go up and down. They're electronic stabilizers on the back. Put your firewood, whatever you want, your trash in these two little cubbies here. Omnidirectional antenna, so you can because it comes with a TV, so you can watch your television in there. Big old cool logo, so everybody knows who you are, what you're going to do. And then there's your backup camera. Awesome LED lights, D-rings for recovery, so uh, or mount for D-rings, so you can get recovered. Now this guy here is an outdoor shower that is attached to the unit. And when you're traveling down the road, this all folds up, and I'll put that in the video right now so you can see this fold up and it just closes it's awesome input for your cable tv if you're actually somewhere that has a cable input maybe you have a something uh direct tv that sits on the ground spare tire this thing drops down very nicely no pinch areas for you there's your stabilizers there your water tank is stainless it's not plastic so you're getting water Ooh, look at the inside. We're gonna keep, we're gonna walk around the other side so you can see all that storage. And then we'll make our way inside. All right, here we are on the driver's side. Huge compartment, more of that boat material, soft material. Shut off for your gas. You have access behind here into that storage that I talked about that was on the other side. Interior lights, all aluminum. 2000 watt inverter, all your charge stations in here, your electronic brakes, the Truma heaters in there as well. Right here is your uh, cassette toilet, it's gonna go there. Hot water heater, Suburban on demand. This is your other input or output for your hose. And this temperature control was controlled on the other side. Come over here. This is for your input exhaust. For your Truma, they put a cover on it so it doesn't get all dirty. Water inlet, solar input right here with an Anderson plug. And they have put the smart plug on this guy. And I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but it just plugs right in. And there is a great connection. It won't come off, it won't short out. I'm actually gonna put one of these on my stick and staple camper. But yeah, look at all that storage. Huge doors, lights, and then this is the other side. I don't know if you call that an outdoor bathroom or not, but it's pretty cool. All right, you guys ready to go inside? Let's check it out. All right, as we walk in, we're gonna look at our control panel when we walk in. Hot water heater, all your light switches, and door exit lock control right here in the middle. The door above my head has actuators on it and that's how it opens up the doors so you press the button on your key fob there's a hidden uh key fob in on the outside that i won't tell you where it is because it's a secret but that's how you open those up you have your truma furnace your inverter information this is going to be your truma temperature gauge water pump and this is for your stairs down here in this drawer i love it because you have all your fuses your breakers everything that you need right in there easy access and all of these cabinets are soft clothes tons of storage awesome floor with that uh, garage marble look to it epoxy we come in here you are going to have a four burner stove top with a little baby oven which will make some nice cookies. Brandon made some in there. You have your Cymarine, which is gonna give you all of your information of your batteries, how much you have, what's being used from your batteries. It's gonna tell you how much water you have in all your tanks, your temperature, usage, so much information from the Cymarine, absolutely love them. You have a TV in here, speakers, 
CD player, DVD player. You have an actual filter on your water system in here. So you have regular tap water and then you'll have your filtered water. Microwave down here. Again, tons, tons of drawers and storage for everything. This is actually one piece that comes in from Australia that they, uh, they put in here as they are assembling it. And this is your outdoor shower. This pan is actually a drain, guys. I thought this ran out onto the ground, but the water goes down in those little holes. There's your temperature gauge there, your shower head, which actually hangs right up here. There's a light in here. These are all screens, so you can open that up, let the fresh air in, or you put your uh, cassette toilet in here and you can look outside and see nature while you're taking care of nature. Two little seats right here, great places to hang out. They actually have an auxiliary bench for a third person that comes out right in this area. I'll put a picture in here right now for you so you can see what it looks like. But it's like a couch and you can sleep somebody else there. Two more huge drawers. I mean, I'm talking huge. Look how deep those go. Two of those. And then you're gonna have a little table here so that you can sit down and chill, play cards. Just ordered a little game called Camping with Sasquatch. Can't wait to try that out. And there is your bed. Look at that, look at that. Tons of storage all the way around here. We'll open one of these so you can see it. Tons of storage. Air conditioner control is back there. That's what that is in the very back. Reading lights. Then you have your AC vents back here as well. More charging stations. And look at this window. And that window opens too, by the way. So you can literally open that window and stand outside. Great ceiling lights. It is not echoing here at all. This is all fabric covering the ceiling. Our favorite, Scirocco fans. You know, get your finger caught. Ow. Just kidding. These don't hurt at all. That's why I like them so much. And then you can turn them all around. Different speeds, timers. And these things move some air. You're going to have the no CM screens. You're going to have the uh, reflective aluminum backing blackout shades. Another window over here. And you also have a screen door. And this comes out, zips around so you can keep that door open. Nice little head protector right there. But yeah, guys, this is the inside of the BRS Off-Road Pursuit. Your Truma heat's gonna come out right through there. Keeps it nice and toasty warm. More plugs, so many plugs in here, guys. Look, there's one here. And then as we come around, there's another. You're also gonna have two isotherm fridge freezer. Whatever you wanna make them, you just set it and it'll take care of it. All right, that is Randy's selfie stick walkthrough of the BRS Off-Road Pursuit. Click the description down there. I'll get you guys a digital brochure, all the specs, all the details. This demo unit is available for sale. I really don't wanna sell it because I want a demo, but if you're interested in this demo uh, unit, I can save you some money on it. If you want a brand new unit, we have two that are being built right now at BRS Off-Road in Tennessee. Email me, text me, call me. Call the crew, everybody at ROA Off-Road, either in Utah or South Carolina. We'll take care of you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and enjoy the adventures.